Hey up, it's Louise. I'm feeling a little bit worse for wear today. I went and did my first ever bottomless brunch yesterday and boy do I have a capacity to drink. You give me a 90 minute time scale, I will drink and drink and drink until that very last second. I had a wonderful time. The barman said at the end, like, congrats, you smashed it. Like, thank you. I am very cheap. I want to get my money's worth. <laughs> so, I took my camera out because I was like, oh, I'll do a little, little vlog. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, so I did get a bit of footage of, I was like, oh, I'm going to film all my drinks that I have for posterity. Uh, but I missed a load of them out because I kept forgetting to get my camera out. Um, cause I was too busy chugging the strawberry daiquiris. They were so good. They just went down like juice. They were amazing. Uh, so yeah, I thought I would do, I was like, oh, I'll do like a little vlog and then I can review it. But I think most of my footage is just me like haphazardly filming a glass of Prosecco and then like, trying to play like an arcade game and yelling. So that's nice. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I thought this would be a weird one to do to talk about that. And also while I was half cut after uh, my brunch at like three o'clock, went to the Bernardo's that's by us and bought some stuff. So I was like, ooh, a fun little review <laughs> of bottomless brunch. And then a little drunken charity shop haul for you. It was mostly books um, because I went with my friend Ellie and she loves books. And I was like, which books are good? And she just gave me a stack of books. Uh, so I will show you what I got. I will also probably like snip in a little bit of footage i'll probably do a voiceover because you'll just hear me like shrieking and no one wants to hear me shrieking no one wants to hear that here's the brunch menu that was pretty good you got a really good selection of drinks i wanted to try them all and i think i did but i didn't manage to film them all that daiquiri was so good oh, those are the little donut boys that was a paloma really badly mixed though i didn't mix it myself and my pizzart so good and the chips mm, and my espresso martini love that for me i forgot to film all of my drinks this is like drink seven or eight. Oh, this lighting she's stunning I love bottomless brunch. I have no idea what I'm doing. I mean, you're playing Mortal Kombat. Did, it's going very did, bad. Did Ellie win? No. 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 She, she didn't win. I, I was just inexplicably what? yelling at this point because I was like, who, who's that little penguin guy? I don't know. I was losing my damn mind. <laughs> So, to start with the bottomless brunch, which you'll have just seen some haphazard clips of, we went to the Picture House Social on Abbeydale Road. Fantastic. I think it was, I'm sure I put a picture of the menu in there, but I can't remember. It was like £30 for your bottomless brunch. And it was, you got like a little starter of some little, they're like little donuts, little fried dough. And they had like powdered sugar and lemon on them. Delicious. And then you got to choose, um, you can get like a little egg dish or like a vegan dish or a pizza. And we both went for pizza. Ellie had a marg and I had a pepperoni. And you could get a side as well, which was really good. Uh, so we both got chips because one of the sides was a salad. And I'm like, why am I going to get a salad for when I'm drinking? I need carbs to soak it up. So yes, the food. I love the pizza there though. The pizza's really good. It was delicious. And then there was a really good choice of drinks. So you could get like your Prosecchi's. The prosecchi i think you can get like the house lager and then there was like several cocktails you could get like i said the strawberry daiquiris they went down a treat they were so good i could have just like i could have just drunk like a, like a massive jug of it it was so nice uh, then i had paloma which i don't know what that was and it's like a grapefruit based one i had my first ever espresso martina i've never had one before because i didn't want to pay like nine pounds for one and not enjoy it but i was thinking if i'm at the bottomless brunch i might as well and it was quite nice I probably wouldn't like drink them all the time. But it was a nice little treat. So I definitely got my money's worth because I probably had like pfft, upwards of like eight, nine drinks. <laughs> Cause the the way I can just down a prosecco as well, it's it's unhinged. I shouldn't I shouldn't do that, but it is what it is. Thankfully, day drinking, came home, just snuggled with the cats for a bit, went to bed at a reasonable time, and now I feel sort of all right today i just feel quite tired to be fair so yes very good value for money i really enjoyed it it was nice just like 
wandering around, looking at the games room, looking at the shuffleboard, and we were making plans to go play some shuffleboard. And it was like disco bottomless brunch where they had a DJ and it was really nice. Very nice vibes. They got a big disco ball. Sensational. I really loved that bit. And then as we were walking home, uh, we saw the Bernardos and I'm like, I know it's like, yeah. So we uh, <laughs> we walked around Bernardo's and I bought a fat stack of books. This is one of my most chaotic uh, charity shop hauls as well. Uh, oh God, I was I was very drunk. I was very drunk and it was like three o'clock. Love that for me. So yes, I got five books. I got in quick succession. Ready Player One. I got The Muse. She says these are all good, by the way. And then she's like, oh, well, if they're not, you can just like, you don't have to read them because they're 50 peach. The family upstairs, everything I never told you. And then this one, ooh, brick lane, ooh. Oh, this one's hardback. So uh, <laughs> she didn't buy any books. Uh, she just made me buy them all. So I was just walking home with this big stack of books. And I also got, as a little treat, I got bullied into this, but I, I don't know, I need your opinions. Is it cute? Let me just take my cardigan off. So I got this sweater vest. Do we think it's cute? It was four quid. It's made out of like 100% wool, made in Scotland as well. Wait, is it cute? Is it a cute sweater vest? Let me put the sweater vest on. I don't know. I think it's cute, but also, I don't know, Ellie was like, well, if you don't buy it, I'm going to buy it. And I'm like, well, then I must buy it. Like, do I look cute in a sweater vest or do I look unhinged? Do I look like a sexy grandpa? <laughs> Does it look good? I can't tell. I'm not doing my normal modeling because I can't really be asked to get up. I also got these cords from the same charity shop a couple weeks ago, and I love them. I don't know. Is it cute? I kind of like it. What do we think? I don't know. So yes, this cost me four whole pounds, and I like it. I say I got the cords. They were three pounds. They're really nice as well. But that was not from this trip. That was from a different trip. <laughs> so anyway, in conclusion, I love bottomless brunch. I love Prosecco. I love charity shops. And I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.